could you introduce yourself and also tell us why are you here? Good evening, Karen, and I'm very pleased to be in Brussels. Uh, I am a member of parliament uh, in India, a two-term member from the Bharatiya Janata Party, which is the ruling party uh, in India. I, I have been a former minister in my previous uh, term uh, from 2014 to 2019, uh, first in the Ministry of Finance and then in the Ministry of Civil Aviation. I'm currently chairperson of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance and a member of the Public Accounts Committee. I represent Hazaribagh in Jharkhand. Hazaribagh is one of the major coal producing areas uh, of India and uh, is rapidly increasing its coal production. And so I am here in Brussels uh, to take forward a uh, number of uh, discussions that we've been having on how to forge a global climate alliance. Really honored to have you here and pleased to welcome you in autumn Brussels. And the next question then is you mentioned Global Climate Alliance. What is it actually? The Global Climate Alliance is an effort to forge uh, a new uh, alliance between the Global North and the Global South. Uh, we all understand that we have a common responsibility to bring down carbon emissions. And of course, as I said, being from Hazaribagh, uh, which is a coal producing area, uh, the use and uh, the uh, production of coal is something that is vitally important for my constituency. Uh, and so what the future of coal production is going to be, how we think about bringing up renewables, the support that we can get from the global north in doing so, these are all issues that are very, very important uh, to my voters, but also they are extremely important for India as well. Uh, and uh, for a long time, there has been a view in the global south that if we were to proceed on a decarbonization trajectory, uh, that uh, it would not be beneficial for our economic development. Uh, there has been a view that we need cheap fossil fuels to develop. But what all the analysis and the modeling work that we have been doing recently has been telling us is that net zero is net positive. So net zero being net positive we in the global south have to find a way in which we can get on a net zero pathway, decarbonize our economies, stop uh, over time using as much coal uh, as we are and as much uh, we are using in terms of fossil fuels. And so we have to find these uh, sustainable trajectories for decarbonization. But again, as I said, all the modeling work uh, is showing us uh, that this is going to be good for India, it's going to be good for the world. So we have to find a way in which, through a global climate alliance, we can get the support of the global north to be able to get on these uh, decarbonization pathways and accelerate uh, our trajectory towards net zero. Uh, 